Hey everybody, this is Rob Vegas and I am checking in from Melbourne, Australia. And of course we're back with another episode of Assemble the Troops. And of course it is not any old run-of-the-mill episode of Assemble the Troops. This is part of Cobra Convergence 6. So get your Cobra on and get on board. We are converging with the Cobras. Head on over to hcc788.com for all the details. Today, on this show, before you click away, we're going to look at Alley Vipers. Awesome figures. Let's find out all about them. We've got them back, reunited with their file cards. So it's a file card frenzy, you could say, which has been the theme lately, and that's what we like. So... What I'm going to do is buckle up and head on over to the old Rob Vegas Technology Center and I'll see you there for heaps of file card action with our mates, the Alley Vipers. Let's roll! Okay, so we've made it on over to the old Rob Vegas Technology Center where all the action is happening. And we have Alley Vipers today. We've got rocket launch in action. We've got Alley Viper action, and we have two of said Alley Vipers, and we are going to bust them out and have a lot of fun and assemble the troops, and most importantly, File Card Frenzy. My goodness, these guys are back with their File Cards. We've got, I believe he is 1993 Alley Viper. And I'll tell you what, I really love that figure. That is a great one. Oh, wow. And we've got original Alley Viper. I'm pretty sure he's about 1988. Really cool figure as well. What are you thinking, folks? I'm thinking we need... Yeah, that's not going to cut it. He's too wibbly wobbly. We can't have that. Um, See, so they even got helicopters flying over to look out for this sort of stuff. But that's not going to cut it. We need to assemble this troop. Oh, look at that. You see, this is what happens after just x amount of years they just die in the butt like these o-rings of course it's rubber blah 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 that one's not gonna cut it so that is going in the bin clang what is happening is a lot so this is going to be an Alley Viper Bonanza Extravaganza. You're going to get your money's worth on this, folks. If you've never repaired one of these guys before, what you got to do is get these O-rings. You can get them off eBay, everywhere, all of that jazz. You can even get them from, like, your local hardware store. So we've popped it round the leggy bit, and then... This will take you a bit of time to learn how... Oh, dear. Don't do it like that. Whoa. So you pop the O-ring. There's the leggy bit. Here's the O-ringy bit. Give him a bit of a stretch. Cause that, I don't know if that helps, but it makes me feel a bit better for some reason. Okay. <clears throat> Put the waist bit on and see if you can't drag it through there with your whatever you got now um get your back piece boom front piece boom and you can do this in whichever order you like like it's Some days, well, I guess it just depends on the figure, really, a bit. Mm. 
yeah, you just got to slot the arms in. This is always a bit of a battle, I find. Well, maybe I'll just get worse at it. You know how normally you're meant to get better at stuff the more you do it? I seem to be getting worse at it. Anyway, uh, that's a story for another day. And you don't want to hear it here. What is good is that I'm pretty sure he's from 1988-ish or 1989. But I'll tell you what, how's that for a bonus assembling of a troop? I didn't expect to do that. Rock and roll. Well, not rock and roll. He's from 1982. But rock and roll. Yeah. We've got our alley viper back together. He comes with a shield. He comes with a backpack. He comes with a machine gun. And I'll pop that there. We've got 1993 alley viper. He comes with the same backpack. He comes with a different shield. And this is freaking awesome. I don't know if you've seen this before. And his shield is great. It's got the Cobra logo on it. Here we go. We should be able to light it up a bit. <clears throat> here we go. Using our extra production values here at the Rob Vegas Technology Center, we can see it's got a Cobra emblem on it. It's great. Oh, sorry, I'll leave my part. Oh, stop falling over. And, of course... Ah, bloody hell. Anyway, um, yeah, Ali Viper 2 came with the same machine gun as Ali Viper 1, but you can see old mate at the factory just couldn't be bothered machining it properly, and whereas on the top, Ali Viper 1 machine gun had like that sort of left hand handle whereas Ali Viper 2 they were just like nah man can't be bothered and they didn't properly uh, make the mold on that or whatever it is that they do anyway I'm not here to talk about that I'm here to talk about how awesome these figures are and get on board with some file card frenzy. So let's roll. Let's transform and roll out if you're that kind of persuasion. So we've got the first file card, which is for OG original Alley Viper. It tells me that Alley Viper is the Cobra Urban Assault Trooper. The Ali Vipers are the Cobra equivalent of police, a SWAT unit, or British SAS. Any British viewers want to clue me in on anything about that? Special Air Service, it says in brackets. I remember hearing about uh, SAS and how badass they are in like movies and things like that. So yeah, shout it out loud in the comments. They seem like really cool dudes and shout out to everyone in armed forces and thank you for your service. Let's roll. So Ali Vipers form the spearhead of Cobra's inner city invasion forces. This elite contingent of marauders are true masters of brutality, possessing a style of ruthlessness not present in other Cobra soldiers recruited from Cobra's most diabolical combat divisions. Ali Vipers use various forms of treachery to achieve their objectives in order to... Ooh, sorry, there was a stop. Bang, 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 bang. All right, full stop. Let's roll. In order to graduate from their training program, they are required to survive a full burst of machine gun fire across their frontal body armor. <laughs> so armor 
execute a 30 foot jump onto concrete with full combat load and run down a 100 meter gas filled corridor without a gas mask. Wow, these dudes don't knock these dudes' drinks over, people. Alley Vipers are big and strong as well as ruthless. Their body armor alone weighs 50 pounds and they carry at least 30 pounds of weapons. That'd be about... Oh, that's a lot. You're probably talking about 40 kilograms in proper measurements. Um, so 30 pounds of weapons, ammo, grenades, and climbing gear. You definitely don't want one of these gorillas running up and kicking your door down. Kaboom. That is Alley Viper version one. Which brings us to Alley Viper version two. I gotta say, I really love Alley Viper version two, one of my all time favorite figures. And yeah, you yeah, take a shot every time I say a figure is one of my all time favorites, but I don't care. Alley Viper version two from nineteen ninety three. You can see him there. He's got the yellow and the black. It would have been cool if they just made him all black or something like that. Like, kept the body armor on him. Maybe gone black and reversed, like, the yellow highlight. He's got a bit of dust on him, but he's all right. Definitely one of my favorite figures. And you probably remember, famously, Divide It, Dine Hold It. Let's roll with File Card Frenzy on Alley Viper 2. Kaboom. It tells me, code name, Alley Viper. Well, we've sussed that out. What else we got? Primary military. Ooh, this time he's got military specialty. Urban Assault Trooper. Parasite Driver as his secondary specialty. So we'll get back to that. It tells me, quote, we aren't afraid of taking over any city except maybe some parts of New York. I was in New York recently. Pizza was good and... Yeah, the hot dogs, yeah. Get yourself a bit of pizza and a hot dog in New York next time you're there, folks. Let's roll with the quote. It says, the Alley Vipers are an elite contingent of ruthless marauders. So they're still ruthless and they're still marauding. And true masters of brutality. So that hasn't changed. Despite their destructive powers and feared reputations... Cobra was dissatisfied with them, my goodness, and recently outfitted a new breed of alley vipers that make the old ones look like nerdy wimps. <laughs> extensive, <laughs> extensive physical and terrorist training programs are standard for these vicious vipers and they soon become skilled villains. And with a weird character at the end, I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, don't know if you can see it there. It's like when you press control and alt all at once and accidentally press a, a button. Um, anyway, <clears throat> Where were we? They soon become skilled villains and dangerously full of hate. You definitely don't want to invite one of these gorillas to dinner or anywhere else. 
that's perilously close to the last file card, isn't it? But it is what it is. We've got some cool artwork here. Of course, we've got all the description of the goodies that he comes with. He comes with, of course, as we've hinted at, pretty much the same stuff as the original, whoa, the original Alley Viper. Um, and, oh, there we go. Everyone's getting knocked over at the moment. It is a Wednesday, so I can dig that. Ugh. But yeah, he's got, of course, being a 1993 up, it's unusual that A, he comes with the backpack. Oh, yep, yeah, backpack, and he comes with the shield. Really cool accessories. Very unusual for 1993, because normally 1993 is came with bugger all, except for the, you know, same old, same old, you'd get like all the same weapons and stuff. But hey, here they are. How cool is that? Now, one of the things you did come with, of course, is a rocket launcher. And, you know, normally on the show, or on any show for that matter, they'd be firing these at Dr. Mindbender. But we're just going to fire it at Skidmark because... Now, this guy's name is Skidmark, so sorry, Skidmark. If you want to head back to the G.I. Joe administration office and just get a different code name, man. I'm crying out loud. Anyway, here we go. I'm signing out. Uh, do you guys like the old Alley Vipers? I sure as hell do. Version 1 and version 2. Leave a like and subscribe and comment. All, all the drill. You know the YouTube duties. Do you like Skidmark? Do you want him on the show more often? Yeah, shout it out loud. I will see you in the next video, and everyone, keep on Cobra Converging, because this is awesome. Cobra Convergence. Signing out.